Everybody feel free to step up, step up a little closer if you'd like. <laughs> now the Astro 165 um, eliminates a lot of the issues that are normally associated with bending large heavy parts. What you're going to see today is a part made out of uh, 11 gauge that weighs 109 pounds that would normally take two operators to bend on a manual press brake. This machine utilizes an automatic tool changer. As you can see, it's uninstalling the, uh, the dies right now. We just put this in, this is the first time I've seen it too, so I'm going to What you see right now is the die cleaner. It's a rotating brush with a vacuum. It cleans out any debris that might fall into the dies. If you're bending galvanized or hot rolled, if any, any scale or anything gets into the dies, this can be programmed to run every so many pieces to keep the dies clean and keep your bending operation accurate. Now the robot is going to choose from one of six available load unload hands. And again, this, this part that you're going to see now is, uh, weighs 109 pounds, has 14 bends in it. The robot's going to place the part into the thickness detector, which verifies that two parts have not stuck together. Parts sometimes tend to be a little oily. They may stick together, so this verifies that they have not stuck together. Wow. The Astro 165 is built on our HDS press brake platform. It's available in a 10 foot 143 ton model, 10 foot 243 ton model, or what you see here is the 14 foot 243 ton model. It's now going over to the reposition stand. It's going to place the part down and it's going to re grip from underneath. This would normally require two operators, two or more operators, manually flipping the part over and rotating it. The back gauge fingers have uh, floating potentiometers in them, which correct for any inaccuracies that the, that the robot may have picked up the part wrong. Or not wow, the part wrong, look at that. A little bit skewed. 
because I don't know. Well, I think he's a black guy. Loading. Here's an example of a bend that would be very difficult for two operators to, to gauge or to handle the part for a part this size. itself has um, six degree, six axes of freedom and seven being the um, travel on the back and forth axis. It's a seven axis robot. Repeatability on the robot for positioning is plus or minus eight thousandths of an inch. And the robot has a maximum load capacity of 363 pounds, including the, the, the part in the hand. That's another maneuver that would be a little difficult for a human operator. The part following the, the punch up at the ramp. What you're seeing here is not only another reposition, but the automatic tool changer is changing the setup. In the, mid, in the middle of the bend cycle. So this eliminates the need for multiple setups. The die cleaner is again cleaning out the dies. The Astro 165 also makes possible for unattended bending, lights out bending. It can handle up to a 5 by 10 foot sheet of 11 gauge or up to a 5 by 14 foot sheet of 14 gauge.
And this concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask any of the applications engineers in the red and black jackets around the Solution Center. And uh, thanks again for coming. Um, I don't know if this one has the It's a little bit different in the way that's one. That one does, yeah. We've already flipped a bunch of this stuff. We can put the dies on top, too. Really? So you can back yeah. <laughs> um,